everybody and welcome to the season opener for the Gerland Dutchman boys basketball season here at Gerland High School. I'm Sean Cunningham. Today's matchup, the Dutchman take on the Columbia Blue Devils in their first game of the season. Columbia has played three games already this season. They have split each one. They're at a record of one and one to start today, tonight's game. Game was delayed 30 minutes due to the fire alarm going off during the first play of the national anthem. And a big roar from the crowd here. The crowd finally back in action after taking last season off. No spectators were really allowed last season, but the Red Sea back in full force tonight. Liam Feig taking the jump ball here against Henry Heaps. Here it is. Feig gets it up, and we are underway here at Gerland High School. Garrett Cole quickly gets the pass off to Ben Fiore. Back over to Cole. Teague in the corner, back to Cole. Now Fiore once again. Fiore motioning over. Gets over Teague for three. Off the rim, rebound picked up by Mason Smith, and the Blue Devils will come charging back the other way. Heaps for the pass across. Back over for Smith. Kyle Blake, bounce pass. And it was Alexanian who got the pass over to Heaps. Now in the corner for Smith. Up top. Now for Alexanian. Now Heaps going toward the hoop. He gets a shot off and scores. And I'm not sure that that they're gonna count those points, but there is a foul on the play. It is against Sam Oliver. I know those points do not count, but a foul called on Oliver. It's the first foul of the season for the Dutchman as Blake gets a bounce pass down for Mason Smith again. Smith up top, going for three and scoring is Sapienza. And that's how the game opens the score in Justin Sapienza with the three-pointer. It's made three in the first two games of the season. And he opens the score in here. McKissick with it for the Dutchman down low. Now over for Garrett Cole. Up top, Fiore. Down low, McKissick goes in, shoots. Can't get it by as it heads off and over for Mason Smith again. Smith back over for Justin Sapienza. Heaps with a pass, now for Kyle Blake, now Smith. Alexanian loses it momentarily, now gets it back up top. Smith makes a couple of passes. Alexanian trying to maneuver around Teague, loses the ball and Teague picks it up. A big roar of approval there for Liam Teague. Garrett Cole with it here for the Dutchman. Ben Fiore over for Teague again. Teague bumped on the play, that's a foul on Mason Smith. That'll be the first one picked up by the Blue Devils. So Fiore will take possession here, looking for McKissick down low. McKissick scores! And the first two points of the Dutchman season go to last season's scoring leader, Mitch McKissick. Three to two now the score. It's taken over for Alexanian. Bumped in the air, picked up by Blake. Smith back across, Sapienza for another three and he knocks it down. And a quick timeout is taken on the court. Justin Sapienza, two straight three pointers converted. He has Columbia up by a score of six to two as we head to the first timeout. So as I mentioned prior to the start of tonight's game, Columbia comes in with a record of one and one on the year. Their first game of the season was on November 27th against the Shaker Bison. They were victims of a second half comeback as the Bison ended up beating them in that game 53 to 45. Despite holding a 24-17 advantage at halftime, they were outscored 36 to 21 in the second half. Thanks to the efforts of Zach Matulu, who had 13, Colin Johnson and Christian Hager each finishing with 10 for Shaker in that game. And Columbia was led by Henry Heaps, who had 14 in that game, and Justin Sapienza, who had 12. And he's already off to a good start here, having all six points on the board. And a big block on the play. McKissick can't get that shot home. 
And that gets a big roar of approval from the Columbia fans here. The ball went out of play. Fiore will take it. Gonna look to put it back in. Liam Teague. Gives it up top for Ben Fiore again. Down low, Teague across, going for three, and scoring is Sam Oliver. And that's the first three-pointer of the season for the Dutchman, Sam Oliver. Makes it a 6-5 game, Columbia in possession, heaps. With a pass across to Mason Smith. David Alexanian back up top, Smith for three, bounced out and picked up on the rebound by McKissick. Fiore coming the other way with it here for the Dutchman. Teague up top, pass down low. Now Cole back over for Teague. Teague walks in, shoots, no good. And I believe a foul called on Columbia here. Teague is gonna line up at the line. And the foul this time is against Kyle Blake and Liam Teague is now at the free throw line for the Dutchman shooting two. And his first one makes it a 6-6 game. Now 440 to go here in the first. Teague will now take his second shot. And he makes it in, no problem. And the Dutchmen have their first lead of the day, 7-6 now the score, Sapienza. Columbia's only score so far with it. Now he gives it off for Alexanian. Back with it. And now it's Henry Heaps trying to make a move toward the hoop, gets by McKissick and he scores. A great move there by Heaps. And he makes an 8-7 game. Cole for Teague, now over for Fiore again. Bounce pass, McKissick hands it back to Fiore. Now down low, McKissick scores! Good awareness there from Fiore. McKissick able to finish that one off. Team's trading points now. Pass across to Kyle Blake, now heaps with it up top. Sapienza down low, nobody there for Alexanian who scores. And it's now 10 to nine. Liam Teague almost lost it there. Garrett Cole, bounce pass on the ground. Going for three, Oliver, he missed the shot. Sapienza on the rebound, pass across. Alexanian fakes the shot, gives it back to Sapienza. Heaps, and a traveling call. Dutchman get the ball back. And Teague, plays a little catch with Fiore, now gets it to Cole. Over for Oliver, up top for Teague. Fiore, stops up, shoots, and he scores! First two on the year for Ben Fiore. Both teams trading the lead right now. It's the Dutchman in front for now. Kyle Blake tried to hand across. McKissick bobbles, now he picks it up. Here's Garrett Cole, bobbled it again, now hands it off. Fiore down in the corner, Teague. Pass for McKissick. Up top, Fiore, down low once again for McKissick. McKissick angles in. And I believe they're gonna roll it back. Yes, they are, traveling call on McKissick. So no points on the board there. And now it will be Columbia's ball again. Sapienza motioning at the center circle. He gets it across now, Kyle Blake. Blake over for Heaps, thought about shooting, but McKissick was there. Pass across, Sapienza will shoot, bounce out, and the rebound's picked up by Sam Oliver. Cole back the other way for the Dutchman. Hands it across, T going for three! He gets it! 
Dutchman on top by four. Liam Teague with his first three on the year. Now it's David Alexanian making the pass across. Trying to get a shot off and not being able to make it in is Smith. Got fouled on the play though. And the foul is called on Garrett Cole. We're gonna have some substitutions coming in now. Aiden Chrysler is in for Sam Oliver. And we have Ian Fisher Layton and Andrew Gabriel in for Columbia as of right now. Sapienza looking, can't get a pass across. Now Teague is in alone, potentially trying to make it in. Can't get it off. Chrysler trying to go for the rebound after the play, but Teague is fouled and he will have a couple at the free throw line now as the foul is picked up by Fisher Layton. As Cole and Fiore meet up with Coach Parks at the bench. And Teague's first one is in. And extends the lead to five for the time being. And Teague's second shot does not quite make it in. The Dutchman still up by five. Teague with six points to lead the team thus far. Big pass by Fisher late, and now it's back up top for Henry Heaps. Heaps across for Gabriel. Gabriel trying to go around. He'll take a shot for three. Bounced off, and McKissick gets the rebound. Fiore, pass across. Chrysler for Teague. He'll go for it, and it's off the rim. It's picked up on the rebound by Alexanian. Columbia in possession here. It will be taken by Fisher Layton. Now across for Alexanian and taken here by Sapienza. Trying to make the move, Sapienza. Now it's taken once again by Alexanian. It'll deflect a shot. It's picked up by Teague. Less than 40 to go. Teague trying to make the move. Holding onto the ball. He'll take a shot. And it's picked up as Chrysler was trying to go for the rebound. Fisher Layton was able to get to it first. Now Justin Sapienza. Pass across, Fisher Layton. Alexanian now for Sapienza, will go for another three. This one misses and T gets the rebound. Dutchman have 10 seconds for a shot here. Fiore waiting, hands it across, Cole. Three seconds, trying to get one. He scored on the shot. Garrett Cole, and a big round of applause from the Red Sea as he got fouled on the play as well. It was Sapienza who got called for it, so the two number ones end up colliding, and Cole will get one more free throw here. His shot does not go, trying to pick up the rebound was Chrysler and Fisher Layton. Fisher Layton got it, but he has no time for the shot. And that is it for the first quarter of tonight's game. The Dutchman off to a rousing start here against the Columbia Blue Devils. They have a lead at 17 to 10 as we enter the first intermission. So going over the re recaps of the last game for Columbia, already mentioned the first game lost to Shaker. Their last game was a different story on the other hand. Take a look at some of these replays here. Oliver with the three-pointer, McKissick going down low for the two. Their second game of the season was against the Averill Park Warriors, and they came away with a 53-40 win in that game. They were down by a point entering halftime, but end up outscoring Averill Park 26 to 12 in the second half. They were once again led in points by Henry Heaps, who had 18, and Andrew Gabriel had 11, while Dan Coiteau had 19 to lead Averill Park in that game. We'll have some more recaps in just a moment. We're gonna be getting back to game action. Dutchman coming back out. We have another new player in the game for the Dutchman as well. Justin Kapuzinski is in his first action, number 14. And he 
is replacing Garrett Cole, who is now on the bench as the second quarter is now underway here in Gilderland. As Gabriel gets a pass down low, now he gets a pass back, going for three off the rim. Teague fighting for the rebound, can't quite get it. And now going for another three, Sapienza, and he scores. Three three-pointers, nine points on the night so far for Justin Sapienza. And it's a four-point lead for the Dutchman now after it was seven he heading into the quarter. Kapuzinski moving the ball, gets it over for McKissick. McKissick over for Kapuzinski. Trying to make a pass, it got turned over. It's picked up by Sapienza. Almost lost again, now Sapienza. Gets it back, now a pass across for Gabriel. With it now is Peyton Walters, also in his first game action. Heaps and is fouled on the play by Chrysler. That'll be his first of the game. And now Cole will re-enter the court. He will replace Ben Fiore. So a short-lived bench stint for Cole. He goes back out. Columbia in possession here. Shot taken, no good. He gets the rebound. And it's taken now by Justin Kapuzinski. Kapuzinski for Teague and the pass wide of Chrysler. And out of play it goes. Sapienza up the court again. He'll give it across to Ian Fisher. Leighton now over for Walters. Bounce pass by Gabriel. Now it's picked right back up by Walters. Heaps. Going across for Fisher Layton, going for three, and he gets it in. And Ian Fisher Layton with his third three pointer of the season. Columbia scored the first six here in the second quarter. It's a one point game again. Teague, long pass, finding Garrett Cole. Cole stops up. Nice pass, and McKissick finishes it off. And him and Teague now tied for the team lead with six on the night, taken here by Gabriel. Trying to get a pass away, Sapienza gets another one. His fourth three-pointer tonight already. And the game is tied 19 apiece. Cole makes a nice play, goes in and he scores. Great play by Cole, 21-19. Heaps, the pass across. Columbia continuing to move, dropped on the play by Walters, but he still has it. Now over for Heaps again, Sapienza. And he's fouled by Cole. That'll be Cole's second foul, team fourth. And Fiore will check back in, replacing Chrysler on the court. And Garrett Cole also heading back to the sideline as Sam Oliver is back in for him. Sapienza will quickly hand it over for Gabriel. Now he takes it back. Sapienza across for Walters again, going up top, and now it's over for Fisher Layton. Pass for Heaps, wide open down low is Walters who scores. And that will necessitate another timeout. As Peyton Walters, first two points of the season, tie the game right back up. 21 apiece, your score, as we head to a timeout. Now more game re recaps here coming your way. Last night the Gir Girl and Girls team played their first game of the season at Columbia. Game was originally supposed to be played tonight but it was rescheduled to last night. And Lady Dutch unfortunately ended up losing that game by a score of 59 to 36. They were led in scoring by Destiny Capino who had 13 points and Bella Gito had 11. 
11 to chip in as well in that loss. So we are now back to two game action here, Teague. And the pass now for Ben Fiore. Circling in, pass it back for Teague. Teague, long pass, finding Kapuzinski. He'll stop up, looking for a shot, and he scores! Justin Kapuzinski with his first two on the year, first points as a varsity player. And it's now Henry Heaps with it for Columbia. Wide open pass, and another three opportunity there for Sapienza, doesn't go. And it's quickly picked up by Fiore, given to Teague. Lost the ball, but it's right to Troy Bershwinger. Fiore in the corner, gets it back. Handed off, Kapuzinski with a shot. That one off the rim. Pass came from Oliver. And now once again, Sapienza with it for the Blue Devils. Back up top, it is Gabriel. Sapienza near the sideline, now for Heaps. Heaps trying to fake on Teague, now gets it back for Gabriel. Gabriel, bounce pass. And down low is Heaps, Teague trying to defend. Now another pass across, Gabriel forced back to the sideline, and out of play it goes. Columbia will take the ball, they have nine seconds remaining on the shot clock. 3.33 to go here in the second. Heaps, nice pass, Sapienza up top, Fisher Layton. Off the rim, T gets the rebound. Some good passing plays for Columbia, but they are not able to convert there. And Oliver is called for a travel. And that will give Columbia the ball back. Sapienza slowly dribbling up the center logo. Chance of defense emerging from the Red Sea. Now going in, pass across Sapienza for Walters. Now going for three, and scoring is Heaps. And another timeout called on the court. Henry Heaps with a three-pointer puts Columbia up top by one with 2.56 to go here in the second quarter. sounds and we are back from the timeout. Dutchman will start with the ball. Columbia is now going to line up on the court. Teague will start off with it and he'll quickly flip it to Fiore and we are back up to speed here. Kapuzinski pass for McKissick. Trying to find a play. Now gets it over for Fiore. Teague for three. Nine points tonight for Teague. The Dutchmen are back on top for now. Sapienza, pass down low. Out of play as Heaps unable to control and the Dutchman will take it back. Liam Teague starting off with it once again for the Dutchman. Across, Sam Oliver in the corner. Now it's Ben Fiore up top. Bounce pass, McKissick. 
Trying to maneuver. Now goes back up top for three. It's off the rim. I believe that was Kapuzinski with the shot. Less than two minutes to go here in the second. Justin Sapienza, bounce pass. Heaps trying to maneuver around McKissick, not able to get a clean shot off to hit the rim. The rebound picked up by the Dutchman. Kapuzinski going to work against Gabriel. Makes a nice pass to Oliver. Oliver back up top, Ben Fiore, McKissick. Loses the ball momentarily, still has it, shoots and he scores! What a way to stay with it there, McKissick. Now with eight on the night, Columbia back with it. Gabriel, four heaps up top. Taken back by Peyton Walters. Now over for Fisher Lane, he'll stop up, go for a two and he knocks it down. And it's Teague once again with the ball. Less than a minute now to go here in the second. Kapuzinski with the handoff to Ben Fiore. And Columbia now will take over here with possession of the ball, 51.9 to go. Substitution made on the court. David Alexanian is back in for Columbia, and out is Peyton Walters. And now we have another substitution as well. Out comes Gabriel, and in comes Kyle Blake again. So Sapienza back up top, Fisher Lane for three, and he scores! <laughs> Solid shot there, Fish Ian Fisher Lane now with eight. Troy Birchwinder going in. He gets fouled on the play. Looking for his first couple points of the game. So a foul picked up by Alex Zanian. Now Troy Birchwinder Gain his first two free throws here. First winner, of course, a member of the school's varsity football team as well, along with McKissick and Aiden Chrysler, among others. And he makes his first free throw to, to tie the game right back up. And his second one misses, and it's picked up on the rebound by Heaps. 25 seconds here, remaining in the second. Sapienza, looking, able to find the pass to Blake. Sapienza from the center dot. Alexanian, going across, shot for three, it's short, five seconds left. And they're gonna say Teague was out of bounds. So Columbia will get the ball in their territory with 4.4 to go. Sapienza quick pass. Fisher Layton across Sapienza at the buzzer, he can't get it. And we are headed to halftime, tied up. Columbia and Gerdelin are even 29 apiece as we head to halftime. Both teams will head off.